All right, let me get my telepath. You know why I was wearing glasses all night? Because my eyes cross when I read. But here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. In we should be school, taping this shit right here. In public goddamn. school, no, I'm serious. Like when I went to high school, like not even high school, in elementary school, like they'd make us all read out loud in a circle. <laughs> and whenever it was my turn, all the mother kids would be like, because oh. <laughs> so I've been nervous all night. Like I'm not scared of the crowd. It's just like, what do I gotta do? Read. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I'm your host, Tunji Taylor-Lewis. Um, it's snowing in Vancouver, for once. It is snowing. Um, for those of you who don't know about the climate in Vancouver, uh, we don't get, like, a whole lot of snow. Um, contrary to what people believe about Canada and Canadian weather, um, it's, it's very snowy in other areas of Canada, like Alberta, Saskatchewan, Ontario, basically every other place in Canada, there's tons of snow. In Vancouver, we don't get a whole lot of snow, um, but it's snowing right now, and uh, I have to say, the city of Vancouver has no idea of how to handle it. Like, I was just out there driving, and uh, the roads are completely unsafe. There's no snow plows out there. People aren't clearing out the roads. It's just like literally... The city has no idea what to do. Uh, earlier today, I tried to take transit. I tried to take the sky train that we have out here. Those were blocked, like literally, it, and it's not even that much snow. It's like right now, it's like three to five inches, something like that. Nothing crazy, nothing monumental, nothing life-changing. And still, it has thrown the entire city out of whack. I guess that kind of lets you know what kind of city that I'm from. Uh, it's really unfortunate. Sometimes I get depressed thinking about my city, knowing that we can't even handle three inches of snow without the whole city uh, going into disarray. But um, so is life. Um, today, I uh, want to talk about something that I ranted about a little bit on my Instagram story a couple of days ago. Um, it all sort of happened while I was watching a movie. I was watching The Blind Side, I believe. And uh, also earlier before that, I had been watching Rocky, um, the Rocky series, you know, Rocky Balboa, the boxer, stuff like that. Anyway, um, so I'd been watching those movies and all of those movies are movies that I haven't seen in a long time. Like for both of those movies, I think I, I think The Blind Side with Sandra Bullock, I haven't seen that movie since it came out back in 2009 or something like that. So that's 10, 11 years and uh, ro the Rocky movies I haven't watched in like five to seven years, something like that. Back in the day, I watched the entire series online. And, um, but I was amazed, even though I hadn't seen them in a long time, how much of the movies that I remembered, like I remembered specific lines of the movie. I remembered specific storylines. I remember um, certain, you know, character facial expressions. I remembered, um, I just remember like really, really specific stuff about the movie, even though I hadn't seen it in a long time. And, and uh, that, that, that really like goes into me being a visual learner. Like once I see something in media, like once I see something on the screen, I'm able to imitate it or keep it to memory uh, fairly quickly and in like a really, really deep way. Like it really sticks to my memory when I see something on the screen. And uh, the reason why this caused me to go on a little bit of a rant on my Instagram story is because it kind of made me think about my experience in school and and just sort of thinking about how you know teachers would have me memorize stuff and study stuff and learn stuff blah 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 it was in a very you know lecture based format where we'd have to take down notes and stuff like that and i look back on that experience and i'm very frustrated because um i didn't struggle a whole lot with that format of learning but like it wasn't it, it there was definitely um, some struggle for me. I definitely, you know, was a little bit behind as far as uh, it definitely took me more time to learn stuff. I had to work a lot harder. And the reason why I'm frustrated is because like, yo, I can look at a movie and still remember everything of that movie for five years. And I really, really wish that the educational system had more ways of catering to people's um you know like learning not learning preferences but learning styles you know what i mean like everybody has a different learning style so some people 
are they learn best by being lectured to and writing down notes some people are tactile learners right so they learn by using their bodies and walking through stuff and touching things and stuff like that some people are like me you know like are, are like visual learners and like once you see it like you know d displayed and like you know mapped out or like acted out or something like that when there's a narrative attached to it that's the best way for me to learn um you know um you know there's a lot of people with like you know a good athletic in intelligence like it's always crazy to me that football players are known as like these jocks and these you know like you know dumb you know these dumb jocks who who don't do well in school can only like throw a ball but if you consider like what you know if you consider the plays that coaches call for them like 259 right singer on one and two and zip zap zip it zip zap on one on one break like literally you and i don't know what that means but the football players know what that means like it, it takes some intelligence to know and they have a whole bunch of plays that sound exactly like that like i don't know a hundred plays that sound exactly like that and they have to know what exactly that play is to go out there and execute it on the films field so even though they're not traditionally intelligent they're still very intelligent people um and, and that just kind of like leads me to believe that in the classroom right like people who get like straight A's and stuff like that are people who are definitely smart or definitely intelligent, but they're also people who, um, whose, whose learning style is, condu is conducive to that learning environment, right? And uh, not all of us um, do well and not all of us thrive in that learning environment. And uh, that's a shame because um, what ends up happening is just like the people who get the best grades is it necessary isn't necessarily a reflection of people who understand the material the best i just absolutely believe that if there were different ways of of uh displaying the material or different ways of teaching the material there were just like more well-rounded ways a, a diverse a myriad of ways of teaching the material that sort of matches um each individual's learning styles um, I just I just believe that it would just be I just, I just think that the educational system would benefit, you know, immensely from that. And uh, I believe that, you know, like lots of people and especially lots of kids would benefit immensely from that, because like you got to remember, like when kids don't do well in, in school, like it, it does a lot of it does a lot of damage to their self-esteem right like you know like they you know they end up thinking to themselves that because they're not because they're getting like you know c's and d's in school that they're dumb then that means they're dumb and it's just like no like a lot of times that's just not how they learn um and uh you know when they get specialized you know help in school that makes them feel even dumber but the fact of the matter is, it's just like you have like basically a one on one teacher who gets to know you, gets to know how you understand stuff, what resonates with you, what ma what makes stuff stick to your memory better. And like that's actually a better way of educating a kid. Right. That's sort of like one on one specialized, really like, um, you know, really, really focusing on how this child best learns, um, you know, material at school. Um, and on the flip side, right, you have a lot of people, you know, in the academia world who do really well, who get straight A's in high school, get to university, they start to get D's, they start to feel depressed because they start to think that they went from being smart to being dumb or all of a sudden they're not good enough. It's just like, no, in one environment, the in one environment, it was very conducive to your way of learning. And in this environment, it's not conducive to your way of learning. Or they go from there, or they do great all of their school life and they get out into the real, real world. And there's just like different things being thrown at you and they don't know what to do. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's just a thought of mine. I think it's just like really, really important. Um, you know, it's just, there's nothing really that I can do to change the educational system. But it, it, it is definitely, you know, a sort of uh, one, a main reason for me for why I think it's, I personally think it's out of whack. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's uh, great the way it is right now. I don't think it, uh, I don't think it's a system that sets everybody up for success. I think it's a system that sets up certain people for success. Like kind of like how we talk about like, you know, systematic racism. Uh, sets up you know white people more for success than black people or for people of color um, it's the same sort of thing with the educational system this system sets people up with a particular learning style 
for more success than somebody who doesn't have that learning style. And if you don't have that learning style, you have to work ten. You have to work twice as hard to get half the results. And um, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, luckily we're in a time right now where school isn't everything, and you can make a career out of yourself. You know, even if you. Even if you're a regular person who dropped out of high school, you can still make something of yourself. So, uh, yeah, that's just my thought for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I always love the discussions that are being brought up from the past few podcasts. Stay blessed, y'all. Peace.